Hey, I'm Bassmaster Pro Jimmy Mason. Today I want to talk to you about pre-spawn crankbait colors. You know, pre-spawn pre -spawn is cranking time for me. It's my favorite way to find them and catch them in the spring. More times than not, I'm throwing a band at 200. This is a crankbait that gets down to that six to eight foot depth on 10 pound line. It's got a tight wiggle, so it's a really good crankbait to throw in that cold water time period. Color wise, that time of year, the water is usually has a little stain to it. So I'm gonna be throwing more of the chartreuses and the reds. Another color is Mistake. This color, for whatever reason, you know, it's got a kind of an orange juice on one side and chartreuse on the other. There's just something special about that and that dirty pre-spawn water, that little color catches them. Probably my all-time favorite color in the band at that time of year is the spring crawl yellow. It imitates the crawfish really well, jumps out at them, and, and it's another one of those colors that just really gets a lot of bites. Now at times, the reds, some lakes it's better than others, but on the lakes where there's a lot of crawfish, especially the lot where they have that reddish hue, it's hard to beat a red, the red uh, crawl, the red tigers. They get a lot of bites. And one clue that I look for that they're really feeding on crawls that time of year is when you catch a bass and it's got the tonsils in the back of its throat are red, that's when you really want to go to those crawfish color baits because those tonsils are red where they're eating a lot of crawls and that shell on those crawfish rubs those tonsils raw. If it's really muddy, then I'm gonna throw the black back chartreuse. This is a color that jumps out in the dirty water color and gets a lot of bites as well. Finally, this is a color, fluorescent orange crawl. This color right here, uh, especially on your grass lakes, a lot of times really works well. Gunnersville, uh, Pickwick, Toledo Bend, Rayburn, all those lakes like that where you're ripping it through a lot of the grass. That reddish kind of chartreuse mix, it really jumps out in the dirty water as well. Pre-spawn, think, definitely think about your chartreuses and your crawl colors when you're picking your crankbait. Tackle-wise, when I'm shallow cranking, I like to use a seven foot two uh, loose custom speed stick crankbait one rod. This rod has a really flexible tip and a moderate bend, so it loads up really well when you're casting a small crankbait like the Bandit 200. It's got a lot of bend in that tip so that when you're fighting the fish, it really cushions the, blow, uh, cushions the bite and cushions a hard surge at the boat. You know, cause that's, that's when you lose a lot of fish with a crankbait is right when the fish makes a surge at the boat and it pulls free on these smaller treble hooks. Uh, so it works really well for that. Line wise, I'm usually cranking that time of year with 10 pound vicious copolymer. I like the copolymer when I'm shallow cranking cause most of the time I'm trying to make contact with the bottom. And that copolymer, when I, when I hit a rock, hit a stump or a snag and I can hesitate that copolymer will help it to float back versus the fluorocarbon sinks. Um, the copolymer helps you to work it through the cover. I'll always crank with a five to one reel in the pre-spawn. This is a loose tournament pro. You can fish all day without getting fatigued, but definitely that, that slower gear ratio will help you to get more bites that time of year.